What was Disney thinking? What was that? That is one big pile of shit. Let's see here. Back in March, Disney expected you to pay $10 for a movie ticket to watch Ava DuVarney have a mental breakdown. And now this. What was their next idea? Oh, I don't know. Let's take a uh, segment of Fantasia. I mean, it worked so well the last time. Oh, I got a better idea. It's a ballet. Mm, let's see here. No, let's have very little ballet as possible in it. Disney's Nutcracker in the Four Realms is based on a world-famous ballet. Uh, no, 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 enough. This is a, basically a fan fiction. I've seen things on fanfic.net. Much better rounded with a better plot than this garbage. How much stupidity do they really think we deserve? I don't hold the cast all that responsible for this mess. Mackenzie Foy, Matthew McFadden, and Jaden Ferrara Knight. I know I'm butchering that name. Did the best they possibly could with what they were given, as well as most of the rest of the cast. Kira Knightley's Sugar Plum Fairy seemed a little off at first, but the reality was uh, there was a twist. She's the villain. The most disappointing acting performance actually comes from Morgan Freeman of all people. He didn't even bother to try to put on an English accent. Now, we know Morgan Freeman does do accents. In Invictus, he did a great South African accent. Other than that, there really was nothing bad really about his performance here. Joe Johnson directed this mess while the rest of the producers and staff had other activities to attend to. This film has presented a cosmic level of stupidity. I know I'm not supposed to talk about science in a fantasy movie, but the film itself is what brought it up. They constantly keep bringing in science mumbo-jumbo and present it as fact. Apparently the main character, Clara's mother, is God in this universe. She literally created everything you see, from the mountains, the oceans, and even the people you talk to. Without the use of any electronics whatsoever, Clara's mom invented a ray cannon that can create life, turn inanimate toys into living, conscious, sentient beings. Our group of Einsteins couldn't figure out that animating regular toy soldiers is not a good idea. No surprise that the obvious bad for guy decides to turn these tin soldiers into Terminator robots. This film is called Nutcracker in the Four Realms. But don't worry about that title. We only get to see three realms. One realm is the castle realm, which we see in the trailers. The other is the land of snow. And the unnamed fourth realm is basically the amusement park from the killing joke. And it is here where we meet our obvious red herring, Mother Ginger, played by Helen Mirren. And if you thought that she is the actual villain, for the love of God, don't procreate. You would think a film based on a ballet would have a lot of dancing. And it did, for about six minutes. Disney is apparently under the delusion that ballets will not do well in the box office. The Nutcracker, in all its forms, is best known for the scene where the Nutcracker dances for our main character. I hope you weren't holding your breath because, guess what? They don't dance together. Instead, Clara's father incestually demands to dance with his daughter. If that isn't creepy. Don't think of the plot too much of this film. Because quite frankly, it's going to give you brain damage and how stupid it really is. The film also makes the cardinal mistake of being... Failure! 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 This movie was a complete and absolute waste of time. Two hours of my life gone. Oh, but I have an idea how to fix all that. Let's use my hacking abilities with my iPad, shall we? Let's find out. So how bad was this movie? Well, I hacked into CERN and actually invented my own time leap machine. I'm going to go back to before I bought tickets for this movie, stop myself, 
and get back two hours of my life. Let's begin. Whoa. It worked. I'm gonna get two hours of my life back. 